Hello, in this video I will show you how to create a wall arc using only curves. Curves are very powerful and uh, they can be used in a lot of different scenarios. For this arc we will need a free add-on that comes with Blender by default. So go to the Edit, Preferences menu, Add-ons, search for Curve and enable Add Curve Extra Objects, this one. This will simply add a lot of uh, curve profiles to your uh, list so if you press shift a curve uh, you will now have all these uh, different curves we want the arc so select it and by default uh, look like this so go to the top view we want a complete arc so set the end, end angle to 180 degrees and also the sides we can uh, use the minimum two because uh, there is no need to add extra geometry select uh, the end vertices you can work in the top view press the E key for extrude and uh, Y to lock it on the Y axis like this then tab out of edit mode R key X and rotate it 90 degrees let me hide the floor okay now we have this arc here go to the curve settings and uh, resolution preview you, you can increase it but first uh, go to the geometry extrude and give it an extrusion let's say something like this and then we can bevel it like this let's uh, also change the type of bevel to from round to profile so we can use the new bevel profiles for the curves that they have introduced with the latest versions you can uh, modify this uh, point here to get uh, the shape you want as you can see it is updating in real time right now the resolution is very low if we switch to the wireframe mode you can see that we have very few uh, polygons and, and edges so let's increase it to the maximum of 32 and we get a lot of more details now you can create the shape you want by simply left clicking and uh, moving the point around but i will use a preset called cornice molding and enable the sample straight edges so we have uh, this kind of shape so this is without the sample straight this is with them and as you can see we already have a quite nice arc now for the resolution you can increase it it will increase the smoothness let me zoom in so if i say like six as you can see is very jagged if i set it to 16 it's already way smoother you can increase it to the maximum but uh, i think the, um, the default or maybe 16 is uh, already good because it's uh, a curve you can always uh, modify and add uh, new points like you can do something like this let me go to the front view so you have many many options to play around now let's say you want to convert it to mesh very easy let me duplicate this shift d move it here and simply right click convert to mesh if you tap into edit mode uh, you will have a mesh here and uh, you can do your work we can bridge this gap here simply select the edge loop then select this other edge loop right click bridge and then ctrl r to insert an edge loop here and also insert another edge loop on the other side okay here it is, the final result.
or if you want the lead to be inner part you can do it as well simply convert to mesh select base middle part delete it and there we go you only have the arc itself okay so i hope you enjoyed this video if it's the case leave a like to support the channel subscribe to stay up to date with the latest contents if you have any question comment below and i'll see you in the next one